In this lesson, I want to go over the options you have when saving a document. I'm going to open a new document in Pages. I'll choose one of the templates. It opens up as an untitled, unsaved document. There are a few different ways I can go about saving this for the first time. I can go to File, Save. Use the keyboard shortcut Command S, or just click on the name here at the top of the window. The windows that come up for each of these commands are basically the same. I can enter a name, add tags, and then choose a location for the document. So I will name this sample letter and add a work files tag by just entering the letter W and then I need to choose a location. My first option here is iCloud. If I select this, the document will be saved to iCloud, and to open it again, I'll need to do so from Pages on whatever device I choose. That's all, I don't need to hit a Save button. Just click anywhere on the document and it's saved. It will now autosave as well. We'll talk more about autosave in the next lesson. If I close this and then reopen Pages, I have the sample letter document available in iCloud. Double click to open it. Now let's say I want to save a different version of this document. To do that, I'll select Duplicate in the File menu, or I could type Shift Command S. That gives me another new document that I need to save somewhere. And name this one Sample Letter 2. I'll add the work files tag, and this time save it to the documents folder on my Mac. If I wanted to save this into a folder within my documents folder, I can just click the little down arrow here to get a full finder window that I can navigate through. That document is now saved only on my Mac. I won't be able to access it via iCloud. Unlike the first sample letter, I can navigate to this file in the Finder. Here it is in my Documents folder. I can view both files if I select the Work Files tag in the Finder. Both files will appear in a Spotlight search as well. Also, if your Mac is not connected to the Internet, you will still have access to all your iCloud documents. They are stored on your Mac's hard drive. One more thing when saving documents to iCloud, or as Apple refers to them, documents in the cloud. If I duplicate this file here in iCloud, I can now create a folder with these two files. Just drag one over the other, and they'll be placed into a folder that I can name and tag if I want to. At the bottom of this window, I can arrange these files into a list rather than icons. And I can also create a new pages document right from this window. Choosing where to save a document is important. If you're going to want to open a document on multiple devices, saving to iCloud is the best choice. I'll be able to open these Pages documents on another Mac or an iOS device running Pages. If you're only using one Mac to open the document, then saving to your Mac makes sense. But if you don't have a good backup of the files on your Mac, iCloud may still be the best choice as it can serve as an automatic backup of your files. I can easily move documents from my Mac into iCloud. So I'll drag sample letter 2 into iCloud. If I try to drag one of these JPEG files though, it won't work because those aren't Pages documents. 
Finally, you can move documents to the trash right from iCloud. Right-click and select Move to Trash.